So, hello and welcome. I'm Tom and this is Whiskey Shorts. Today we're doing another video in my Preserving Your Whiskey Journey mini-series. Um, and today I'm going to show you what I do with these things, which is embossed corks. I'm going to share with uh, share at the end some more tips from members of the whiskey community. But what I do with them is I make these, which is a box frame with wax seals inside and the name of the distillery that the bottle came from. So if you would like to make one of those, all you're going to need is a box frame, a can of paint, a, a glue gun, and these wax um, wax glue gun sticks which you can pick up from craft stores or online. Um, you're probably going to also want a paint scraper and I'll explain why in a minute. So to make it all I do is I let the heat gun get up to heat. Um, while that's happening I painted the backboard, I used a ruler and a pencil just to put the dots where I wanted them and you can see how I've lined up where I'd like the corks to go in an earlier version. Uh, I then, when it's hot, insert the wax stick into the glue gun, use the paint scraper just to catch any drips and move it across to where the dot is. Put in a circle slightly bigger than the cork, um, I can then move the glue gun back off, again using the scraper to avoid drips, and then getting the cork I can just rest it on top. Now some corks you might want to push down a little bit. Um, other corks uh, you probably don't want to do that because they won't um, they'll, they'll get too stuck in there and it'll ruin the cork and it'll ruin the wax seal. So I suggest just having a play around with it first. Um, once you've waited for a few minutes I normally go around and do the rest of them. Uh, it should be cool enough that you can just hold down the backboard and pull the cork off. And there you have it. Once you've uh, once you've done all of the ones that you want, you can put it back into the box frame, and you're good to go. So that's what I do with my uh, whiskey corks. Uh, Johnny Whiskey shared with me that he likes to keep all of his with a label on, and he keeps them in a bucket so that later on he can look back through the drams that he's had. Uh, Peter Whis Peter Hunt at UK Whiskey shared with me Lee's photos of where he's filled a box frame with old corks makes quite a nice art feature and he also uses his corks as alternative handles for his whiskey cabinet as well as that you can um, just keep your whiskey corks in case you have a breakage so Menno and Andy and Helen shared with me their pictures of where they keep their corks and finally, for a more Christmassy theme, Anthony and Nikki from At New Dram Drinker, they shared with me this wonderful wreath that they made for Christmas using their old corks, which is a brilliant idea. So, I've heard about people using them for fridge magnets as well. I don't have a photo of that, but I'm sure you can find it online. Hopefully this video has given you some inspiration for what to do with your corks. Please, uh, if you liked it, come on, give me a like, a subscribe, um, drop me a comment about what you do with your corks after you're finished with them. I'd love to hear uh, how you're finding this series and what you're doing to preserve your journey. You can find me at Dram of War on Twitter or on Instagram at Whiskey Shorts. Please give me a like, give me a follow. I'm looking forward to interacting with you. I've been Tom, this has been Whiskey Shorts, I'll see you next time.